Hello everybody and welcome back to Wexcombe Manor Farm. On the front of our case tractor today we have got a Flegel yard cleaner. Basically what we need to do is really clean the yard up. It's a bit of a mess, especially just around the corner here. There is a fair bit of manure dotted about over there so it does need to be much neater. This is really for cleaning roads so it will get rid of your tyre tracks, obviously picking up manure as well and generally anything very dirty it is going to clean. So yeah, we're going to use it. Let me just hire the front loader quickly so you can see it. We'll just look at it like this. This is by BM Modding. Very, very high quality mod. It's already got some fantastic ratings on ModHub. So I highly recommend it as well. I've been using it for about five minutes and it does seem to be very impressive. So it, obviously it's, it's driven by hydraulics. You can see the hydraulic hose going to the motor there. It leads to the tractor's pump. So yeah, let's get cracking. The tractor also is a bit of a disgrace. It does need to be cleaned. So if we have got a pressure washer anywhere, we are going to use it. Now it does actually animate the uh, the brush turning, as you can see here. And it's very simple to use. All you have to do is just lower it down. The brush will clean everything up. It'll put it into the bucket behind. So you can see here, if I just go low enough. There we go. It's cleaned up the manure which was on the ground. Also, let me just make some tyre tracks here. Quite hard to see actually. If this was a road coming out of the field it would be much more obvious. Um, but yeah, you can see these. Let's go along with this. And it will clean everything perfectly. Except for of course I've just driven over where I've just been. But you get the idea. So, let's go over here. What we're going to do is clear up this mess. This happened when I was loading up a trailer not so long ago. Look at that, very good. We can have a really nice clean yard with this. It's about time we did as well. It's a bit of a tip. Okay, the bucket is about 50% full. You can actually see it filling up behind as well. Okay, a tiny bit left here. We'll go over to the next section. Yeah, this is a right mess here. Okay, so let's just turn it off. Put it back into the heap. There we go. Okay, let's finish off the job, make it nice and neat here. I think this is going to be used a great deal in future videos. Uh, for example, when we're going to be doing some sugar beet harvesting, bringing the mud out onto the road, that is when it's going to be very useful. As you probably know, sugar beet harvesting can be very messy, as it's usually done at a fairly wet time of year. Already almost full again, wow. There we go, it's another load. I don't know if you have to turn the brush off every time. It, it still works. It's just, it might start to flick the poo about. So we must be very careful with this. Just head back a bit. There we go, it's getting better. Definitely looking neater. If I have missed a bit over here. But no, I think you probably get the idea of the mod. Quite a simple mod, but very effective. I should think though, although I'm calling it simple, it's probably a fairly hard thing to design because you can see every single bristle on the brush. Really nice. Clearly a lot of work has been put into it. Let's get these bits here. Yeah, that's another thing. You've got to be a little bit careful because if you tip it down too much you can actually spill it out again. But that is the majority of it clean. Looking much better turn it off. Yeah, shame it doesn't pick up the grass. I don't think it... We will try it. I'll make sure that I'm not just missing something there. But it's really designed for mud and dust and dirt uh, for cleaning your road and your yard. Uh, ooh, wow, it actually did work. 
That means we probably can clean in front of the animals as well then. Let's just give it a try. Interestingly though, it's actually registered as manure despite it being grass, so not sure. I was wrong. It cleans everything. What a fantastic tool. Really good. Well, this is much easier than using a bucket. Just a standard bucket pushing it all about. We can actually brush it into the bucket with this. And also, you probably notice it actually has the sound of the bristles rubbing against the, the concrete ground, or the dusty ground, um, whenever it's lowered. And then it goes quiet again when you pick it up. There's another close-up view of it working. Now right up against the side. Oh, we've got to be careful. We could break it. Get everything out of the side, which we couldn't do before. This was incredibly hard with the bucket. Look at that. Spotless. So, yeah, this is not really worth it for our benefit because we are leaving this farm very soon. But for the next owner... It is obviously going to be nice and neat for them when they turn up. The farm is going to be sold very soon. Should I get all this out of the side as well? Fantastic. Okay, so with that done and out of the way, we are going to just... Well, what is it? It's registering is done, which is it's quite strange, but oh well. It is just waste, you wouldn't really want to keep the grass after it, so it might as well just be manure. There we go. And I think you can fit it to any tractor with a front loader really, it's just, it's nice to have a bigger tractor doing it. I don't know why. But let's just put it to one side. The link is down below for it if you do want to use it, highly recommend it. Um, because what you can do is use the animal table manners to switch off any of the, the mess but if you want to be a bit more realistic you can use a tool like this to clean this up quickly so that's nice and also it can clean just yards generally so uh, yeah nice feature to have now what we do need to do as well is a bit of tidying up over at the house let's jump on to our Profi Hopper four wheel drive now there is actually an updated version of this out which allows you to collect but I don't think we really need to get it for this map because we finished with the silage so it wouldn't really be used and we finished with the feeding so yeah all we're gonna do is cut the grass I think I got stuck on something another thing we do need to do as well is sell all of the firewood which is in the trailer just over here uh, we don't have many episodes left so we do have to cram in as much as possible can we fit through here oh yes oh no no I've crashed my expensive machine there we go. Yeah, let's just get cutting. This won't take too long. And yeah, the beacon is a little bit overwhelming. So nice to jump off the big tractors for a change and just got onto a, a very small machine. Although, in real life, this isn't that small. It's still quite big and very expensive. It just feels very small compared to a tractor. This is very long grass. We have not been taking care of it. Must get right up against the wall here to get as much cut as possible. Uh, it needs to look nice and neat. Very presentable garden. Presentable lawn is nice to have. I feel the same in real life as well. I always like to have a nice lawn. Uh, so. Yeah, we must make some effort here. Oh, don't crash into the shed. That would be counterproductive. Also, we mustn't go over the slide. There would be a very loud crash and a bang and probably some flames as well. Certainly some sparks. Yeah, it looks like it hasn't been cut for about a year. It wasn't that long ago we did it, but the grass has grown quickly. It's the peak growing season. Okay, I think that's close enough. We don't want to make a mess of this machine. It is expensive. There we go. Also down the side of the house, avoiding the electric box just there. 
Oh yes. Okay, so if we traverse very slowly, we should be able to see what it looks like so far. Yeah, I could have got a bit close to the wall, but it's okay. Definitely much better than it ever used to be. Uh, and there is actually a bit of yeah, a bit of lawn that goes over here too. So this can be cut. Um, yeah, won't take too long at all. Okay, the deck hasn't lowered. There we go. Make everything look presentable. Oh yes, look at that. Look how close we're getting. Cutting the whole lot. Oh no! Ugh. What was that, electrics? I don't know. Either way, we're lucky to be alive. This is extreme grass cutting. Grass cutting at its best. If anything can possibly go wrong, it will do. It's pretty much done. There is a tiny bit left here. Let us turn the engine off and examine our work. We must be proud of it. Be proud of it. Appreciate the perfectly cut lawn. Oh, it's a bit of a tuft here. But we mustn't just sit here watching the grass growing again. We must move on to the next job. But that definitely does look better. Without a doubt. Let's put this away. In fact, that could be the last time we use it in this map. And certainly the last time we use this version. I, I would like to collect the grass again. So, next time. That is what we'll do. Oh no! This gate, we seem to be attracted to the gate. I keep crashing into the gate post. The Lexian is going to be returned this afternoon, so that's why it's in the cow field. It's just, you know, waiting. Waiting for the dealer to collect it. It is going to go. Um, actually, I did spot something during editing last time. I, I noticed that I had two feed mixers. I thought we only had one. I reckon I've bought one twice. That was foolish. Okay, so this one is owned. Um, is there another? I don't know. I thought there was. Let me just check. I reckon there is. One. Okay. So there isn't. What about rent? Uh, lease. Nope. Okay, that's weird. Good. That would be bad. I didn't want to have two. So small we can go in between the columns in the shed. Okay, so, oh, that beacon is just so massive, I can't believe it. It's not like we're close to it or anything, it's because it is actually huge. Look at the size of that beacon. There is a scale issue here. Anyway, let's run over to our trailer, and what we need to do is burn some more wood. A little bit every episode is good. This does all need to go, otherwise we are going to be missing out on money for the next map, which is going to be as I've explained before, most likely something which isn't in the UK, but I'm yet to decide. In fact, I'll probably take a vote on it, you know. That is the best thing to do. Instead of just picking one myself, I'll say, what do you want me to do? And then from the suggestions, I will create a vote, probably three or four, and then you'll be able to choose the best one out of those four. I reckon if we sell about 10 of these logs today, that'll give us a very welcome boost. And then a few more next time, which will be Sunday. Because Saturday is now multiplayer. And I think most people do enjoy the multiplayer. I was actually surprised about the amount of dislikes he got. Um, I don't know if that was just the map or something, or if it was just my style of playing. I did emerge from the sea, which didn't really help. Um, having a tractor underwater to begin with uh, was probably not very good. Because I know a lot of people watch these videos for realism. And that isn't very realistic, unless I crashed, of course. Which is possible. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people like watching us or not. Come on, Log. Go in. Thank you. Okay, one more. That should do us for today. Enough Log burning. Fantastic. That was a big one. So, we have produced quite a bit of money there, once again. A few left in the back for another video. Well, you know what? The best thing to do is probably to sell some more bales. So what we're going to do is get the money to start it up. We need to bring the trailer around because obviously yeah, we need to load it up. Uh, the, the spike, I think, I put over here. Yes, here we go. 
You can use the pallet fork if you want to, it's just not advisable. It will still pick up the bales fine. Uh, the trailer is... somewhere. Here it is. We used the rolling today. And we probably should fit the rear ladder as it calls it. I don't know if it's actually called a ladder or bale of support, I'm not too sure. But either way, we should switch it on. So to do that, what we need to do is press Z. No, X. There we go. And then, we'll just go around the corner, give ourselves some space, and commence loading. Now, as you'll know already, these bales were very badly stacked, so it is going to make it very challenging to make another stack out of them. So, I am just going to go at it really slowly. This is going to be a time lapse because it will be painful to watch stacking one at a time. Uh, the trailer may have to be adjusted. It is obviously an angle to fit in, but it may make it a bit challenging. Uh, oh, no. That's not good. I was going to say boom out, but I've just hit the trailer. This isn't going to be perfectly stacked. I'll make it clear now. Anyway, please do enjoy the time lapse. That is virtually our stack done. There is space on the front and I have not one off, so if we can squeeze three more bales on that would be okay, but if we can't then it's not the end of the world. Um, we can always get it next time. In fact, I'd rather not overload it too much. So those two can strap that on. And that is looking not great, but okay. It'll, it'll definitely work. It's not going to fall off. That is the main thing. Yeah, there's one left here, uh, one left behind the trailer, plus a hay bale just behind the trailer as well. So next time we'll be able to do them. Let's go to the sell point with this load and see how much money we can make. Now this is quite heavy and this isn't a very big tractor. So hopefully it's going to be okay. Luckily it's the, uh, the 5613, so it should be more powerful. It's got the upgraded engine. Yep, that's looking okay, a bit top heavy, but it's, yeah, it's definitely not going to tip over. Probably in a second I'll show you a clip of me tipping this thing over. Whatever I say does tend to be wrong. If we can make it to the bell cell point without having a catastrophic accident, then we are going to make some decent money here. I think there are usually about £200 each, and there's, I don't know, quite a few here. Whoa, yep, it's definitely feeling heavy. The brakes didn't really do a great deal then. Nice and steady through the village, with our massive stack. 
I do think that putting some on the top actually is better because it sort of holds the two together. It stops each stack from tipping either way. It's like a lock. Ah, it would appear the gate is shut. To open this first of all. Now these are going to sell quickly. So you mustn't miss it. I'm going to take the straps off first of all though. Otherwise, we're just going to get left with some straps. You can just press L, but that's kind of cheating. Removing the straps from in the cab is not very realistic. I hope these things aren't going to move. Probably get crushed in a second. We do need to go steady. Come on, careful. Watch the money. Yeah, it's almost £300 a bale. That is very good. Now all we have to do is try and reverse this thing to get out of here. And that is not good because I've just put myself in a really bad position. Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, we are going to have to spin around here. And when we get back to the yard, we will park it up again. And then I think that is going to be it for today. We must shut the gate as well. Wow, I didn't realise the trailer was sticking out so much. Ho oh, ho ho, look at that. What clearance is there? It's about two inches. Yep, I should have thought about that before shutting the gate. Anyway, off we go. Another job done. When we finish this map, everything is going to be sold. The animals are going to be transferred. And because we have so much machinery, again, just like on Sandy Bay, we're going to be doing pretty well to start off with. But as I've proved on Sandy Bay, even if you have maybe £650,000, that just doesn't go very far at all. So we really do need to get as much money as possible from everything we have here. And I'm hoping uh, that we are going to be able to. We're going to be selling stuff off very soon in the next couple of episodes. So stay tuned and wait and see how much money we make. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.